Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the song called El Prestamo. Here we go. So, give you a preview of what you're going to play and learn in this lesson. Okay, so check it out. It goes like this. This is the catchy chorus section you're going to learn. It goes like this. So let's go. Okay, so let's break this lesson up into, let me see, one, two, three, four parts, right? So four parts in this lesson, step by step. Here we go. First part starts like this. Right hand starts on the E flat here, middle C is here for reference. We go up an octave to this C, go up to E flat, that's where we start on. So it goes two E flats, D down to G, and repeat those four notes again. E flat, E flat, D down to G, and up to E flat twice again. And then D up to F, and that is the first part for the right hand. One more time for this first part for the right hand. So it goes like this: it goes E flat, E flat, D G, E flat, E flat, D G, E flat, E flat, D F. Just like that for the right hand for the first part. Once you get that left hand, we have four chords here. So first of all, we're gonna do block chords first. Later on, I'll um, tell you, teach you how to um, apply that pattern that we did in the preview. All right. So here we go. The four chords are two C minor chords, which is C, E flat, G. So we have two of them, so another one. And then the third and the fourth chord are both F minor, which is F, A flat, C. So two of them as well, all right? So, of these four chords in mind, so two C minor chords, followed by two F minor chords. The two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts first, it goes G and C minor together. G and C minor together. After D, F minor by itself, right comes in, F minor by itself, after that, just like that. And that is the first part for this, okay? So one more time, it goes like this. Together, together, here, here. Just like that, and that is the first part. Moving on to the second part now. So the second part, right hand continues. It goes C, D, E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, D. And then C, C, D, E flat, D, C, B flat, that's a G. And that is the right hand for the second part. So one more time, so it seems like there's a lot of E flats here. So yeah, one more time, so it goes, goes C, D, and then there is five E flats here. So one, two, three, four, five, D. And then it goes C, C, D, E flat, D, C, B flat, G. And that's the right hand for the second part. So once you get that left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are A flat major, which is A flat C, E flat. Second chord is B flat major, which is B flat D, F. And then third and fourth chord are both C minor chord, which is C, E flat, G, so two of them, okay? Yeah, so with these four chords in mind, so A flat major, B flat major, and C minor twice, the two hands together goes like this, okay? Right hand starts on the C, D, E flat, and A flat major together. After E flat, B flat major by itself. Right hand continues. E flat and C minor together. After G, C minor by itself, just like that. That is the second part. One more time for the second part. So it goes like this, it goes, Together, here, together, here, and that's it for this second part. So back to back, the two parts that I've learned so far would be played like this. Check it out. So it goes. Just like that, pretty awesome stuff already. Let's move on now to the third part, okay? The awesome thing about this is actually the third part is exactly the same as the first part, so it just saves some time, okay? It's just exactly the same as the first part, like this, this third part, like this. Like that, awesome stuff. So remember, third part, same as the first part, and you'll be all good, okay? So let's go ahead and recap. The three parts we've learned so far will be played back to back like this, check it out. Okay, 
Now moving on to the fourth and last part of this section, right hand continues, it goes D, E flat, F, E flat, F, E flat, F, and then goes three Ds, one, two, three, E flat, D, E flat, D, down to G, and that's it for the right hand for this fourth part, one more time for this fourth part, so it goes like this, it goes D, E flat, F, E flat, F, E flat, F, and then D, 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 E flat, D, E flat, D, down to G, and that is the right hand for the fourth part. Once you get it, left hand, we have the same four chords as the second part. If you record, if you don't, I'll tell you the chords right now. So it's A flat major, which is A flat C, E flat, B flat major, which is B flat D, F, and then two C minor chords, which is C, E flat, G, so two of them, right? So yeah, with those four chords in mind, so A flat major, B flat major, and two C minor chords, the two hands gotta go like this. Right hand starts first, F and A flat major together. After F, B flat major by itself. E flat and C minor together. Okay, and C minor. There. Okay. So yeah, don't do that higher C minor. It's actually better to do the lower one because you might clash. Okay. So yeah, like this. Together. Here and do the lower C minor. Together. Here like that. Yes. Do it that way. Okay. Alright, that's that. Back to back, the four parts we've learned in this lesson will be played like this. Check it out. So it goes. Is that okay? So now that you got it, um, okay, just keep playing this section until you can play it very smooth, articulate, and um, yeah, clear and everything. Okay, so after you've done that, um, yeah, you're gonna start applying the uh, left hand pattern that I showed you in the preview for beginners who are still getting used to getting two hands together for melody and chords. Just build, uh, build your confidence until you can get it really good. After then, you can apply this. Okay, so the pattern is very simple for all the chords. You apply the same pattern. So what the pattern is, you do this for the chord C minor, right? For example, so you do the lower note followed by the higher two notes for two times. Yeah, but in this rhythmic pattern, it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, like that. So you kind of subdivide it into, okay, eight small beats, right? So it's like three plus three plus two, okay? So it's three, three, two, remember that? So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, like that, okay? Let's do it for all of them. And it gives it this kind of like bouncy, dancey kind of feel to it. It's pretty awesome. And then F minor, same thing, same pattern. A flat major, same thing, no, 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 no. like that, okay? Okay, so get that pattern into your, um, I guess, uh, I guess you know, the kind of subconscious mind because you want to play it subconsciously while it's also doing the right hand, okay? It requires a bit of hand independence, but it's all good because after you do the chords and block chord version and melody, it should be a lot easier because all you need to do is trying to get your left hand to apply those uh, pattern to those chords that you already learned, all right? So yeah, it goes something like this, I guess. So it goes like this, okay, let me see. Okay, so it goes like this. So really catchy stuff. So yeah, this you can like you can actually apply this pattern to anywhere else if you want. For example, you can just like even apply this pattern to like Mary Hello or something. Like that. You were like, like okay, you can do you can apply it to anything. Cause that's the awesomeness of how like what I like how I teach because um. I teach you, I teach like all my tutorials, like, I teach in a form of melody and chords so everyone can just like apply like those um, same patterns to any like song and still like kind of make an awesome arrangement out of it, okay, using those patterns. It's easy to learn and everything, okay? So if you like this teaching method, check out all my other tutorials on my channel, I have over 2,600 of them, so a lot of stuff for you to enjoy and learn from. Check out my website as well, bestpianomethod.com to learn more about my piano methods and teaching methods and everything, okay? So um, yeah, linked in the description below, all right? But Anyway, as for now, enjoy your time around my channel, and for now, see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services.
As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe, and see you next time.